Hello friends! As the weather is getting nicer, I don't know about you, but I love being outside. One thing, one thing I've noticed is that the flowers are in bloom everywhere. There are flowers in gardens and also a lot of wildflowers, which are just so lovely to see. I'm going to go around my yard here and see what I can find. So this is the view I'm facing. I can see some dandelions. Can you see the dandelions? There they are. These are some dandelions. I can also see some wild mustard. Look at this wild mustard. There's other plants here that I'm not familiar with. Like this little flower, purple flower right here. Hmm. I wonder what that one is. When I want to find out what type of plant I'm looking at, what type of flower, I need to look very, very closely at the flower. I have to look at the shapes of the flower. Is it a very regular shape? Or is it more like an irregular shape? If I look at a pansy, it looks a little different than say the shape of a buttercup. Can you see how the buttercup seems very regular compared to the shape of the pansy? I can also look at the number of petals. How many petals are there? Two, three, or maybe four to six flowers such as the wild mustard has four petals, the pansies, the violets, the buttercups all have five petals, and flowers such as the crocus, daffodils, irises all have six petals. Or is it a flower that has many numerous very thin petals, or sometimes we call them rays? such as the dandelion or even the daisies. I have to look at all those things about the petals. Another thing I can look at is the color. Which color is this plant? Flowers can come in many colors. Let's think about it. We can have white flowers, yellow, red, bluish or lavender, purple, orange, even some green and even brown ones too. Many, many different colors. So let's take a closer look at this particular flower here and see if I can find its name. I put a link to a great source on Google Classroom. If I put in the shape of the flower, the number of petals, its color, the shape of the leaves, it can really help me to identify which flower it is. So let's take another look at this mystery flower I found in my yard. Here are those little flowers. They are purple. The flower is purple and I would say that it has an asymmetrical shape. It's not a very regular shape for a flower. The leaves are a little bit reddish. I want to try to find on the website the name for this plant. So it looks like this flower it's called a purple dead nettle. That's what I found when I searched for it. I spotted other flowers that you might know in my yard. Let's take a quick look. I found some common violets and some buttercups.
But as I can see, there's just not flowers only on the ground. Some trees are also flowering. Have you noticed how many trees are in bloom right now? So in the spring, the days grow longer, the sun rises higher in the sky, warming the air and the ground. And this change in temperature signals to the trees and the plants and also to the animals that it's time to wake up from the winter. Spring rains soak the soil, it releases minerals and nutrients. The tree roots absorb the liquid and they move it up into the tree and there it mixes with simple sugar that the leaves made and stored in the tree during the summer and the fall. This mixture of water, minerals and sugar is called sap. Sap moves through the tree, delivering nutrients to its trunk, branches and to the buds. So the tree actually grows taller and wider. And the buds, which were dormant in the winter, are ready to open into flowers. I would like to read to you a story about all those flowering trees that we can see around us. And I hope you will enjoy it. Spring Blossoms by Carol Gerber Illustrated by Leslie Evans Spring is bursting out all over. The sun is up. It's warm. Let's go! Trees so bare and plain in winter are dressed up for the yearly show. Look at all their buds and blossoms. Some are pale, some really bright. Proudly wearing nature's colors, spring blossoms sparkle in the light. White dogwood wears a frosty crown, its limbs spread wider than its height. Crabapple, too, is short and wide, its fragrant flowers small and white. Magnolia buds are opening, revealing blooms that glow like gems. Cherry flowers grow in bundles like small bouquets on long, stout stems. The white oak bears two kinds of blooms. Male flowers droop, they're greenish gold. The female blooms are small and red, both open as new leaves unfold. On the beach, male flowers cluster. They're round and wear green fuzzy suits. Female flowers, small and spiky, grow near the leaves along new shoots. Red maple tree reflects its name. Both buds and flower wear red clothes. The red the redbud tree does not look red. Its flowers are a pinkish rose. White pine's male flowers, small and yellow, grow in clusters near branch tips. Female flowers bloom weeks later. They're tinged with red like slender lips. Male blossoms grow on balsam fir beneath its twigs, as we can see. Their pollen blows to female buds that grow new cones high on the trees. Suddenly, the trees bend towards us. A warm spring rain begins to fall. Wind sets loose a storm of blossoms. We race around to catch them all. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the different um, blooms that we can see right now in the spring on our beautiful trees around us. And I hope that you'll have a chance to go outside and try to find out the flowers that are around you, on the ground, and on the trees. Have fun with the flowers. They're so beautiful.